Hey, welcome to Mad English TV. What's this guy wearing on his head? Do you know? In this lesson, I'm going to teach you words Canadians say. Okay, this guy is wearing a toque on his head. This thing is called a toque, and it's a very important thing to have if you come to Canada because it gets really, really cold here like minus 30, minus 40, okay? So if you come to Canada, you need to get a toque to keep your ears warm, to keep your head warm, okay? Otherwise, you're gonna die. So what's this girl wearing? It's called a hoodie, okay? A hoodie. In a lot of other places in the world, they would call this like a hooded sweater, or maybe just a sweater, I'm not sure. But this is called a hoodie, but there's a province in Canada called Saskatchewan. It's the purple one over there. And there they call it a bunny hug. <laughs> okay, I think that's a really great name for something because it combines two, two words that everyone loves. Everyone loves bunnies and everyone loves hugs. But what does that have to do with this? I'm not sure, but it's funny. So. This is called a Mickey, okay? A small little bottle of hard alcohol is called a Mickey, and a big bottle is called a 2.6, okay? Not 26, a 2.6, okay? So you might tell your friend, hey, I'm gonna go down to the liquor store and pick up a 2.6 of vodka, or I'm gonna pick up a Mickey of something, okay? So that's, those are two words we use to describe the, the size of bottles, okay? now. In a similar way, we use the word 2-4 to talk about a 24-pack of beer. Okay, so you could tell your friend, hey, I'm going to go down and pick up a 2-4 of, of Bud or something like that for the party. Okay, now this is called a parka. Any sort of really heavy coat or winter jacket is called a parka. Okay, so if you come to Canada, you'll probably need to get a toque and a parka to keep yourself warm. Now, look at this room. What room is this? It's a washroom. Okay, in Canada we use the word washroom. So if you want to be uh, polite, you probably will use this word. We use the word bathroom too. Bathroom and washroom, toilet, they all mean the same thing. And there's not really one word I think that's more polite, but, but this one, washroom, is maybe a little bit more polite than the other ones, okay? So you could say, um, excuse me, is there a washroom around here? Or if you're at someone's house, you could say, um, excuse me, could I use your washroom? Or would you mind if I use your washroom? Okay, so remember, if you come to Canada and you hear the word washroom, it means this. Okay, now we have a very famous coffee shop here in Canada called Tim Hortons. There are thousands of these coffee shops all across Canada. Okay, so if you come to Canada, probably the first thing you'll see in the airport is a Tim Hortons. And when you're driving away from the airport, you'll probably see more Tim Hortons. Okay, we have a lot of these. Canadians love Tim Hortons. Um, and when you're at Tim Hortons, you might order a double-double. Okay, this is another Canadian word or another Canadian expression we use. It means two cream and two sugar. Okay, there's different ways you can take your coffee, right? Um, you can have your coffee black, you can have your coffee with two creams, one sugar, or um, three sugars, one cream, or five sugars, five creams. Okay, so the, a really common way that people have their coffee is two cream, two sugar. Okay, but instead of just saying two cream, two sugar, it's just double-double. Okay, so everyone in Canada knows what a double-double is. Now, this is a really interesting word, giver. Okay, it means to do something wholeheartedly, without any restraint. Okay, just go for it. Just give her. Like, let's say uh, me and you are on our motorbikes and we're getting ready to do a jump. Okay, then I might say to you, are you ready? And you can say, let's give her. And then we go and we go over the jump, okay? Just give her. It means forget about everything, just go for it. 
Okay, now we can also use the word this way. I was given her on the highway when the cops pulled me over. Okay, that means I was going really fast on the highway. I was driving really fast when the cops, the police, pulled me over. Okay, so it's probably not good to just give her too fast on the highway. Try to obey the speed limit. Okay, so these, these are called gitch. Okay, men's underwear are called gitch. I don't know why. So this is a very interesting term. Uh, so hockey, ice hockey is obviously really popular in Canada. And this thing here, it's called a puck. Okay, so the point of ice hockey is to get the puck into the net. To get it into the net, you have to get it past this guy. This guy's called the goalie. Okay, and there's different places you can put it in the net. You can try to score up here, or you can try to put it through the goalie's legs, maybe. If you put it through the goalie's legs, it's called five hole. Okay, if you put it up here somewhere, it's called top shelf. So if you're listening to a hockey game on the radio, or if you're watching it on TV, you might hear the announcer say, he scored top shelf, or he scored five hole, okay? Now there's another interesting hockey term we use called deke, and that means a fancy move to get past someone. Okay, so you've got your stick, and you're controlling the puck on the ice, and you do a deke, and you somehow get past a person. Okay, that's called a deke. Um, also here in Canada, we call these runners. We don't call these tennis shoes or sneakers like they do in the US. We call these shoes runners. Again, I'm not sure. Actually, it makes sense, right? Because these are running shoes. It makes more sense to run in them than to sneak in them. Sneakers. Sneak means to be really quiet, okay? I don't know. I think it makes more sense to call them runners. So a really funny term we have in Canada is homo milk. Okay, this is very popular in Canada. If you go into any grocery store, you're going to see milk that says homo milk. Now the word homo is short for homogenized. So this is a word, I don't really know what it means, but it's some sort of process that they put milk through. Okay, I don't know what it is, what it means, but anyway, it's a process that gets done to milk. And so this is called homo milk. Now homo milk means milk that has 3.25% fat. Okay, so the other milk, like 1% or 2%, that's not homo milk. Only the 3.25% is called homo milk. Now, this is funny because the term homo is a very disrespectful way to talk about a homosexual, okay? Uh, but this has nothing to do with homosexuals. It has to do with milk. So if someone from outside Canada would come to Canada and they see this homo milk, the first thing they probably would think of is homosexuals, but it has nothing to do with homosexuals, okay? So that's sort of funny. Um, now, the last word I want to tell you is the most stereotypical Canadian word. Everybody knows it. When, think, when people outside Canada think of Canada, what, the one word they think of is a. A. It's a very short word. We put it on the end of a thought. So we say something and we often use the word a, like this. It's chilly out here, eh? So let's say me and you, we walk outside in the winter. I could say, wow, it's chilly out here, eh? So it doesn't really have a meaning, it's just there. Okay, like look at this. So I went to the doctor, eh? And he told me I needed to stop drinking booze. Okay, booze means alcohol. Okay, so it's probably a good thing that the doctor told him to stop drinking booze. But I want to know, what is your favorite Canadianism? Okay, the word Canadianism means all these words I just taught you, like runners, homo milk, a, okay. Which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments right down there, and I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.